24-year-old Jamie O'Mara is lucky to be alive. The most rewarding thing for me is that he has such a happy nature and despite all his suffering, he's, he's remained. <laughs> you can do it Last year, he underwent a radical and risky surgery to remove the right hemisphere of his brain. The operation was a last resort to control his seizures. Most of his life he woke up just seizuring so badly and so violently that now when he wakes up having his little parties, it's a relief and it's just, it's just, it makes us on one hand very happy and on the other we're just exhausted, so it's... Jamie's health problems began with a massive hemorrhage when he was five weeks old. It was tracked back to the fact he'd never been given a vitamin K injection at birth. The hemorrhage caused severe brain damage, eventually triggering the painful seizures that have plagued Jamie since. He just suffered hundreds of both large and small seizures day and night. Um, so it got to the point where we just knew we could not leave him any longer. And um, that's how we sort of had to come to the decision. And it was the hardest decision someone should ever have to make. Um, but thankfully, it, it, it all went well, and 90 to 95% of the seizures are now gone. Jamie lives with his family just outside Walkworth and is supported by carers round the clock. It hasn't always been this way. When Jamie was three, ACC accepted his condition was due to medical misadventure, the failure to receive vitamin K. Yet the family was left caring for him. Quite often he's moving around the bed in a clockwise direction all night and um, or else the, he could wake up happy and start screaming and giggling for hours, which is fine up to about 3.30, 4 o'clock. I mean, <laughs> he's a little thin. <laughs> but he used to high pitch scream as well, so you get a high pitch scream in the middle of the night, which is always a good one. Yes! Yeah. Jamie loves walking. You can hear the joy in his voice. This lovely home is being specially designed yeah. with extra wide hallways. So even in yeah. bad weather, Two people can help Jamie walk several times a day. Ten years on, when Jamie was 13, ACC did a major reassessment of more than 500 claimants. The family received a large payout to compensate for years of managing Jamie on their own. It helped pay for their new home, designed around Jamie's needs. How did you manage before you had this round-the-clock care? Um, well, like I said before, sleep deprivation was um, a major. You just constantly walked around like a zombie. You, you had to be alert to make some life or death uh, decisions in Jamie's care, so it was really tough. The whole physical yeah. side of caring for him, that comes with that, the lifting. And, yeah. yes, and just the stress that comes along with looking after someone with such severe... Um, disabilities and epilepsy. You feel powerless sometimes when you're under a, a big agency and, and you can see there's things that you could could possibly improve on and it gets quite frustrating. It's good to be out in the sunshine, isn't it, my friend? Yeah. So Sally and Miles set up their own caregiving agency to manage Jamie's ACC funding. It means that we can ensure that our quality care is being provided to him um, and that we've got the power to do that. Regular carers Jill and Lucy are also neighbours. Twice yeah. a week they sleep over to give yeah. Miles and Sally a break. They've become family friends as well as carers. And Lucy's son yeah. Connor often comes over to play. Jimmy. Yeah. Jamie, are you going to aim today? Eh? Yeah? yeah? You're going to go see Matthew? <laughs> oh! Once a week, Jamie goes to AIM, or Adults in Motion, a day programme in Walkworth started by Sally. Hi, Jamie, keep it Jamie's never going to live independently. This is more of a social outing, but he's always involved in what's going on. Sally set up AIM two years ago, determined Jamie would be part of his community. From the very beginning, um, the first thing that 
I, I found hard to deal with was um, the fact that there was nothing in place for people like my son to accommodate his special needs. And um, it was quite shocking. It was quite a shocking realisation that, you know, they'd gone through school and after they leave, there was just nothing for them. Both she and Miles want to see him out and about. Well, he loves to. He loves going out swimming and you know everything else. Everybody else needs and wants to do in life. So I mean, you, you don't want to keep them locked away and not included in things. And most importantly, they just want Jamie to have fun. Oh, well, Jamie's enjoying it, aren't you, Jamie? <laughs> On your marks, get set. We're trying to get it so you can do it, eh? And he just deserves to have the most action-packed, fun-filled life you could possibly give him. <laughs>